Hello, my name is Renee Leith Manos. Welcome to this podcast, Where To From Here. I'm sitting in one of Asia's most cherished hotels and one of the most magnificent heritage hotels in the world, Raffles Hotel Singapore. It's 124 years old and it recently underwent a renovation which saw it close for two years so that every single aspect of the hotel has been upgraded and modernised but still retaining the building's original and magnificent charm. The renovation is rumoured to have cost 125 million Singapore dollars, so certainly no expense was spared. But even more eye-popping than that is the price that was allegedly paid for this property in 2015, which was 1.9 billion English pounds. So that just gives you some idea of the status and the value of this incredible property, which is arguably one of the most beautiful and magnificent places to stay in the whole of Southeast Asia. Before Raffles did this incredible renovation, the only complaint from the guests seemed to be that the gym wasn't big enough. Well, that has completely changed. It is now basically a three-roomed situation. There's plenty of techno equipment, which is the latest. There's stretching areas, there's fit balls, there's towels, there's water, there's music piped in if you want it. I've actually been up there every day. I'm definitely a person who really enjoys a great gym in a great five-star hotel, and Raffles certainly accommodates. So definitely, um, you know, if that's important to you, you are well covered. From the gym, you can go out to the pool. It's a really, what I like about the pool is the size. I think it must be 25 meters, or it might be just a bit shy of 25. You can do laps is the point. And you can sit around the edges and they've got gorgeous black and white little tables there. All the drinks are served in you know, plastic cups for safety. And you can actually overlook the city, which is also something unique having an open air rooftop pool. So you can actually sit there and really feel like you're in the buzz of Singapore, all swamped, chilling out um, on a day bed. So it's just wonderful. There's also a spa here and Raffles, again, has always been known for fantastic treatments, particularly massages, facials. You know, there's nothing here that they won't do. It's all just absolutely brilliant. The location of Raffles too is fantastic. There are shopping centers within sort of, it feels like, you know, walking distance from every angle. Of course, it is quite hot, so walking around is not something you want to be doing a lot of, but you get the Fairmont Hotel is across the road and that dovetails into a big shopping center. I think it's called Raffles Central or something, Raffles city and there's lots of shops in there so there's lots of you know if you want to pick up something go to the chemist or whatever that is super super easy there are 115 rooms in this amazing hotel and the rooms are virtually unrecognizable with the incredible facelift that they have been given when you walk into the room there's like a separate lounge area which has a gorgeous sofa on the left which two people can quite happily sit on and then across from that is a round table where again two people can quite comfortably work from home or do whatever they need to do. There is a gorgeous bar, which is kind of really quirky in, in this area um, of the rooms, which is in a beautiful leather sort of encased piece of furniture that looks like luggage. And when you open that up, you'll see the wines and everything in there. But this whole area is quite separate to the bed, which is in the next section. The bed is huge. It's a magnificent four-poster grand bed. So comfortable, it's unbelievable. Of course, there's a pillow menu and everything you could possibly want, quality sheets and an amazing TV. Everything is operated from an iPad, which is sitting next to the bed, including the lights and everything. So you can have you know, your room as light or dim or dark and open or shut the curtains as you choose. For me, the bathroom is a real highlight. They're incredible, just marble walls, um, a beautiful marble black and white floor that is just something really special. Uh, the bathtub, you know, can fit two. It is just beautiful. It's like an old fashioned style tub, which really harks back to the history of this 19th century building. And um, there's just beautiful mirrors to do your makeup. Of course, there's a his and hers, so there's plenty of space. And hers has a special micro mirror as well to make sure you get your makeup right. But the whole bathroom area is just so luxe. I also love that the shower has a rain head shower as well as a handheld device, but both can be used at the same time. There's nothing more frustrating than staying in hotels and having to flip from one to the other. That's not the case at Raffles. So I have to say that getting 
you know, out of bed or getting out of the door in the morning when I stay here. It's a slow process because I really enjoy just using the facilities and really taking my time when I do my makeup, when I have a shower, have a bath. And there are also some gorgeous Raffles products there. In line with the um, Accor, who is the, is the owner of this um, building or the manager of it, the core now has a very strong sustainability program and rather than actually giving you new fresh products all the time, they actually refill them, which is, you know, a sensible way to make a contribution to the planet. So yeah, the wonderful thing about Raffles is that you can spend your whole time in the room and not get bored. And one little secret tip that not many people realize is that outside in the hallways, outside every room, is it two chairs and a table. And this is just the most beautiful place to have room service, particularly if you arrive after a fairly long flight, like many people do who land at Raffles, and you want somewhere to just have a bite to eat or even do a bit of work. But yeah, a room service meal out there is just certainly one of the highlights. And there's a great room service menu here, even in times of COVID with plenty of choices. But yeah, I just, I really, the sweets are a big highlight for me. There are a whopping 10 restaurants at the newly refurbed Raffles here in Singapore. I'm actually sitting in one of them. This is the beautiful Le Dame de Pic. It is an incredible French restaurant by um, Sophie Pic, who obviously is French, and she has several restaurants globally. They have a set menu and just sitting in this incredible environment is just the most relaxing and charming place to have lunch or dinner. There's also Alan de Cass is back here. He was actually had a restaurant very briefly in the hotel some years ago. He now has Osteria BBS, which is an Italian restaurant, which is absolutely fantastic. I had lunch there um, a couple of days ago and just the interiors have been completely modernized, but still show respect and um, charm in terms of the high ceilings and the old world feel of the building. It's quite an architectural feat what they've achieved there. And the food is gorgeous. We're talking, you know, wood-fired pizzas, some amazing pastas. This is not Alan Ducasse's Hawk cuisine, um, which he is famous for and has been famous for in a career spanning more than 25 years, particularly in Europe. This is something more casual and gosh, he's pulled it off. And I have to say, even the uniforms that the staff wear are this navy kind of color, which in this beautiful white and light environment really create a dynamic with, that's energetic and fun. So that's definitely been a highlight for me, is eating there. Butcher's Block is another uh, restaurant within the hotel complex. They specialize in steaks, particularly Wagyu, and you can order your Wagyu in 100 grand lots. They also have some gorgeous entrees, which include risotto, oysters, and again, the setting is decidedly modern, you know, very upmarket, very upscale, and very elegant. There's also um, a lobby area where you can have, you know, um, sort of snacks and food throughout the day, but this is massively popular for afternoon tea. Afternoon tea at Raffles is just something absolutely not to be missed. There's a three-tiered plate of cakes and sandwiches. You can have a glass of champagne. I mean, it's just absolutely so gorgeous and you have to book in advance, but that's definitely something not to be missed, whether you're staying here or not. The Tiffin Room is somewhere where you can have incredible Indian food. Raffles has been renowned for this restaurant. It was here from day dot, and it has really upscale Indian and just a beautiful food. But the room again itself is just something that has to be seen to be believed. Towering, four meter ceilings, incredible chandeliers that have been made, but they're modern. It's just absolutely beautiful and great food. And that is actually where you can have breakfast. Breakfast can be served either in that room, it can be served in your room, but also just off the room where the Tiffin restaurant is, is a gorgeous courtyard with a fountain in the middle. And I mean, I'm here in January and it's just, it's a lovely place to sit and just sort of wake up and really sort of start your day. So yeah, there's just so many options. There's also a courtyard bar that I haven't mentioned, which I also quite like. And they've got um, like a happy hour with different cocktails. They've got special food, which is uh, sort of special dishes, which is lovely. Things like local dishes, like satays and spring rolls, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I really do like the crab cakes there. This swimming pool upstairs also has food and a fantastic bar. I have to say the staff up there are really great. They really cater to everyone's needs and it's just, you know, really um, a great place again to relax on a hot summer's Singapore day. Raffles Long Bar is of course one of the most iconic bars again in the whole of Southeast Asia. 
The Singapore Sling was created within this whole hotel and it is just a fantastic drink. Um, if you stay in the hotel, you are gifted welcome drinks and they are a Singapore Sling upon arrival, which is gorgeous. And it's, it's, a, it's a very sweet grenadine gin-based cocktail that I really, really do enjoy. It has a piece of pineapple in it. It's just synonymous with raffles. It's synonymous with Singapore and it's just so much fun. The long bar has been renovated, of course, and there are no peanuts on the floor at the moment. Traditionally, for years and years, there were peanuts all over the floor in um, the long bar. It's a bit of a tradition, but I think because of the health and safety concerns at this time, there are not peanut shells on the floor, but you can eat peanuts, you crack them out of the shell and eat them when you're having a drink there. That is definitely something not to be missed. And there's also another Asian restaurant here, Yo by Jeremy Young, which I have not yet tried. As I said, there's 10 restaurants here. You need quite a long time to try them all. And look, another highlight of just even visiting Raffles is the incredible chandelier in the entrance. This is something new that they've brought in with the renovation. It's just full of crystals. It is absolutely huge and it is just magnificent and something definitely, definitely not to be missed. There's so much about Raffles that's not to be missed. You absolutely must stay here. Even if you just have a, um, a one night stay, it is absolutely worth it just to experience all that Raffles is. The heritage, the modern renovation, the staff, the amenity, and the location is absolutely gorgeous too. Don't forget to subscribe here and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for regular travel updates. You can also hear our episodes on Spotify and Apple Podcasts.